Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> Arthur. Hey, so that fella who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Thank you, Mr. Morgan, for sparing me like that. I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Boy. Hmm? Thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Karen. You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. We lost a lot in the move. We'll be back on our feet soon. I'm watching you. Whatever you say. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. Dutch? That's O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. Watch out! Boy, I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Hey, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side offer. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, God damn it! I do. 
He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I don't know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. And we kept it clean. We're all good. Hey, is there a problem, Arthur? Good to see you. What can I do for you? Well, let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. We could do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Smart addition. You'll be very pleased with this. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. We could do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Essential, I reckon. Dangerous. If you say so, Arthur. Here we are. 
evening. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big job. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. your mouth, mister.
stop flumping off on me? Do I look like a Lenny to you? Lenny! Bastard! Lenny! Lenny? Go away, you drunk. You got the wrong fellow. Get in, my boy! Lenny, what are you talking about? <laughs> Found you, Lenny! <laughs> you mean Jenny? She lived with a John an hour ago.
again. Where's that horse got to? I'll take that, pal. I'm gonna end you. Here. Yeah. I don't know. Morning, dear. Oh. Hello. Why today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture... Of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just. There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest, but, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens, my bag, that thing is robbing me. Go, oh, good heavens. Don't worry, that thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too, wildlife photographer.
And Kyle, don't think about coming back. your bag oh thank you thank you sir bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population you are a gentleman the bag also had a lot of my supplies you've saved me days I'm can't thank you enough I'm, I'm thank you don't worry about it I'm uh, you take care sir <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten I realize I am a fool <laughs> forgive me and thank you very much once again. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Come on. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well to you. What possessed me to come out here, I'll never know. <laughs> wait up, wait up. This isn't a race. What are you doing out here anyway? It clearly ain't your Will natural you habitat. Down? <clears throat> For Christ's sake. Uh, no, I'm just visiting. Uh, I'm from New York City. Actually, I cannot possibly follow you at this pace. Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes. You don't say. Oh yes, there was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. I have to make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? Hey, leave me to die. Throw me to the wolves.
mister? Welcome. Damn, was you trying to make a name for yourself or something? Seem like I've seen you before. Well, no. let me get through. Welcome. New in strawberry? Can I get a hot bath, please? All right. Head on over when you're ready. How about letting me take over here? Yeah, I think I'm okay, thanks. Well, you just let me know if you need me. there. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them.
Thank you, Sheriff. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Yes! Hook that over the bars and see if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Something 
of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish. I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will owe me thanks profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah!
Whoa, easy. 